death never comes cheap. And with funeral costs running at an average of $10,000, there will always be those who can afford to spend more. Great news. If you enjoy living a lavish life, you can continue the extravagance even in death. If your middle name is pomp or fanfare, and you want that luxurious send-off with a cherry on top, well then, we certainly have some expensive ideas for you. So without further delay, here are the 9 most richest ways to die. Number 1. Take a ride in the Rolls-Royce Phantom hearse. Why ride to your final burial in an ordinary hearse, when you can ride in style and sophistication with the Rolls-Royce Phantom hearse? You'll get all your favorite Rolls-Royce Phantom features, including the classic B12 engine, but wrapped up in a hearse. At a whopping 23 inches, we're looking at a $700,000 investment for funeral homes who want to offer the best to their guests of honor. Number 2. You can rest in peace in a gold coffin. You've probably heard of gold-plated coffins. Michael Jackson, Aretha Franklin, and James Brown were only some of the few that were buried in them. But have you ever heard of a 100% gold coffin? Well, this Malaysian 14 karat gold coffin is considered one of the most expensive in its class. Featured in a coffin exhibition in Kuala Lumpur, it is valued at $217,000 and made up of entirely 14 karat gold. It's unknown who got to be its lucky inhabitant, as it is the only one known to have been made in recent years. Number 3. You can get laid to rest Hollywood celebrity style. Not only is the LA area known for its exclusive upscale neighborhoods, but it's also known for its exclusive upscale cemeteries too. The Hollywood Forever Cemetery, Forest Lawn Memorial Park, and Westwood Memorial Park are common resting places for the rich and famous. At such high-end establishments, you'll find gravesites belonging to stars of the recent and distant past, with elite plots ranging between $1 and $3 million. Number 4. Have a presidential funeral. This has got to be the most expensive way to die in the United States. Since a presidential funeral is considered a national day of mourning, federal workers are given a paid holiday costing approximately $500 million in lost productivity and wages. The service itself always requires extra police and security, costing taxpayers an additional hundreds of millions. Not to mention the closing of the stock market, which ends up costing investors more than $50 billion in lost potential transactions. Stay in school kids, and become president, because when it's time for your funeral, it's guaranteed to cost your nation billions of dollars. Number 5. You can freeze yourself. Some people have different ideas about life after death, because when it comes to the disposal of their bodies, that's only for the common folk. Why let a perfectly good body go to waste when you can preserve it with cryonics, a preservation technique where your body is frozen in liquid nitrogen in the hopes that a future advanced civilization will revive it back to life. It can cost up to $200,000 for full body cryopreservation or up to $80,000 for the head-only option. Number 6. You can keep your ashes in the Nirvana Memorial Garden. This is a six-star columbarium for the wealthy in Singapore. In case you didn't know what a columbarium is, it is a room or building with niches for urns of the cremated to be stored. The Nirvana Memorial Garden offers a peaceful and luxurious indoor resting place for your ashes. Your family can choose from an array of tastefully designed suites, prayer halls, and sitting areas to reflect upon your memory. The most luxurious niches in the Royal Suite start at $24,000, with larger and more private packages costing up to $520,000. Number 7. You can send yourself to space. Speaking of ashes, how about sending them to space with a space burial? A space burial is the practice of launching cremated remains into space. For $5,000, you can have a low Earth orbit space burial, where your urn can spin around Earth at 17,000 miles per hour for years until it eventually disintegrates when it re-enters Earth's atmosphere. And for a mere $12,000, you can send one gram of your ashes to the moon or even into deep space. Number 8. Why not go out in a bang, North Korean dictator style? After Kim Il-sung died in 1994, his son Kim Jong-il converted the Kumsusan Assembly Hall, which was his father's former residence and office, into a mausoleum. The building is now called the Kumsusan Palace of the Sun. The conversion cost is believed to have been at least $100 million.
However, some sources put that figure as high as 900 million. It is also rumored that the North Korean government paid embalmers over $1 million to preserve Kim Il-sung's body. And last we have number 9. You can go back in time and die like an ancient Egyptian pharaoh. A pharaoh's final resting place has always been deep inside the pyramids of ancient Egypt. The most renowned pyramid today is the Great Pyramid of Giza, the last surviving wonder listed in the Seven Wonders of the Ancient World. If a modern-day reproduction of the Great Pyramid of Giza were constructed today, it would only cost you around $5 billion to build. Before choosing this option, you might want to make sure you have that time machine first. Not a big deal, because if you got this far on the video, it should be quite apparent by now that anything is possible if you've got the money. And that's it for the 9 most richest ways to die. So, are any of these fabulous options speaking to you? Will you be able to foot the bill on any of them? By any chance, do you have any other posh ideas of your own that weren't mentioned here? Anyway, if there's anything else you'd like to say about this topic, feel free to share it with us in the comments below. Furthermore, if you got any value out of this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and click on the bell icon so you never miss out on another video. With that said, we'd like to thank you for watching. And we'll see each other next time.